question 13a in the diagram pq is 6 cm q arrow 13 cm arrow s 5 cm angle arrow sq is a right angle triangle calculate correct to one decimal place p s solution so this side p s what you are asked to look for triangle p s q where p s is located is not a right angle triangle and as such pythagoras rule is not applicable we have to consider triangle p arrow s the angle facing p s that is angle arrow is needed before cosine rule can be applied because the side you are looking for the angle facing it is needed so we start by considering triangle q arrow s q s arrow that triangle is a right angle triangle this is opposite you have adjacent and hypotenuse you must have cos arrow equal to 5 over 13 if you divide you have 0 0.3846 since the cosine of the angle facing ps that is cos arrow is needed there is no need getting angle arrow what that means is that if you choose to get angle arrow you take the inverse of cosine of this value but this cos arrow is in cosine rule so i said it not to evaluate it further if you decide to get angle arrow and use it during evaluation your final answer will be the same as peter Kors final answer therefore in triangle p s arrow we want to state the cosine rule square of p s equal to square of the other two sides through addition minus two times the product of the other two side cos arrow that is the cosine rule let us see to that as we proceed so you have the cosine rule as i have said earlier you are looking for ps the square of it is equal to square of p arrow 19 then s arrow is 5 minus 2 times the product of the two sides times cos arrow which is this so you see why i didn't get angle arrow because cos arrow is in the cosine formula if you evaluate you get this if you add and subtract you get this result to get ps you take the square root of both sides so you have square root of this and that is 17.6897 to one decimal place you have 17.7 centimeters b part of the question the diagram okay b part of question 13 diagram below shows a wooden structure or the diagram shows a woody structure in the form of a cone mounted on a hemispherical base the vertical height of the cone is 24 cm and the base radius is 7 cm calculate correct to 3 sf the surface area of the structure that is very simple surface area of the structure is surface area of cone plus surface area of hemisphere you have the addition of the two formulas slant height of the cone is needed from the relationship among slant height the vertical height and radius which is l square equal to h square plus r square you can get the slant height the height is 24 you square it 
plus radius is 7 you square it and you have 5 7 6 plus 49 that is 625 to get L the slant height take the root of both sides and L is 25 centimeters so surface area of cone is 22 over 7 for pi times 7 for radius times 25 slant height that is 550 square centimeters surface area of hemisphere is equal to 2 times 22 over 7 for pi times 7 square that is for radius you have it in this form 7 cancel 7 you multiply 2 by 22 by 7 you have 308 square centimeters therefore surface area of the structure is 550 plus 308 that is 858 square centimeters to end this paper there is every need for you to be saved if you are not you just have to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you goodbye and stay